www.bluestrategy.com. Hello, this is Daniel Grady with a brief look at the markets for today, Thursday, October 24th. We have a pretty busy economic calendar today, starting with um, manufacturing data from the European Union. Uh, it starts at 7.58 GMT with uh, France reporting. Uh, Germany reports at 8.28. And then at 8.58, we have the rest of the Eurozone. Uh, later at 1.30 GMT, we have um, unemployment data from the United States. And then at 3 o'clock, we have uh, new home sales and mortgage data from the United States. Also, uh, if you're trading the pound or uh, interested in uh, in Britain's markets, you might, might want to look at 545. We have uh, the Bank of England governor's speech. Uh, moving on to the markets, uh, the S&P 500 closed down as we expected as investors took profits over over the session. Uh, broadly speaking, every most of the markets yesterday were on the downside. Also, there's an increasing concern of uh, a liquidity crunch in China and. Uh, the, the problems with uh, money markets as the Chinese government tackles shadow banking. Uh, going into de- to de- sorry, going into today, um, the markets are on the uh, upside. We have futures trading up, and also uh, investor sentiment is uh, pretty uh, bullish. Uh, the euro has established itself within this trading range that's been maintaining since uh, the beginning of August. It's at the top of this range, so we're either looking for a breakout on the upside or a uh, short-term correction. Uh, We should point out that... um, Sorry. My mouse is not helping me here. Okay, so uh, RSI is trading above the 70 level, which is an indication that it could be uh, this pair could be overbought and be looking at a short-term correction within uh, this this established range. The yen uh, the yen reached uh, the this bottom uh, this uh, support level at 97.10 as we expected yesterday. Almost reached it and it's been trading within the, within a downward pressure, but still within a range. If it bounces up significantly, we'll see it between 97. 70, uh, sorry, 97.75 and this uh, 97.10 uh, range. The pound is also maintaining within this uh, long-term range it's been since uh, the end of June. Um, it's been having a lot of trouble pushing through 162.50, uh, which is creating sort of a wedge pattern, so we be look- we'll be looking at a, a uh, move up with continued weakness in the dollar. And uh, finally, gold is also responding to uh, weakness in the dollar, uh, even though it came up to this uh, resistance level at 1343 and uh, bounced off, but this is only for a short-term correction, and we could be expecting this commodity to start going up again. And um, that's it for today. Thanks for watching, and happy trading.